You just couldn't let me go, could you? You have nothing, nothing to threaten me with. <laughs> Yeah, we did. But at what cost? VO3.1 is a game changer. Now, I tried out VO3.1 features by creating quite a number of some videos and truly it is mind blowing. Now, we all know that VO3 only generates 8 seconds long videos, but in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can generate up to 30 minutes long form videos if you want to create any video of your choice. I'm also going to show you how you can connect your scenes in such a way that it's your your video is going to align with each other so if this sounds like something you're interested in let's dive in first thing is to go to chat gpt to create your prompt okay so go back to chat gpt and then i asked chat gpt to give me five action movies and chat gpt gave me these five action movies yeah first one is john wick mad max extraction the Dark Knight Mission Impossible. So I told Chat GPT to give me five action scenes of the Dark Knight, and then Chat GPT gave me these five scenes right here: the bank haste, Hong Kong extraction, the ammo tank truck chase. Sorry. Okay. So I went ahead to tell Chat GPT to generate a detailed prompt of the ammo truck chase describing the characters the background and the fight scene and then chat gave me this very prompt right here okay so this is my prompt and then i told chat gpt to generate four more connected scenes that continue the chase aftermath to expand it into a full sequence for VEO3 video and then ChatGPT gave me an extra four scenes this is scene one scene two scene three and then scene four okay so mind you we are creating a a long form video using VEO3 okay connecting scenes that's what we are going to be creating okay so now that our prompt is ready i'm just going to first of all copy my prompt okay this is the first prompt okay okay so i've copied the prompt and then we are going to we are going to head over to our chrome browser go to your chrome browser and then right here you're going to type VEO3 search for it. So this first one right here is the one you're going to click on, and then you're going to click on try in flow. Alright, very good. Now you're going to click on create with flow. And here we are. Okay, yes. And then next thing you're going to click on new project. So this is where we're going to be creating our videos. So here you have text to video, frame to video, ingredients to video. So we're going to be working with the text to video. So I'm going to paste our prompt right here. Now we have our prompt. So you're going to come over to this place. Now you're going to choose your aspect ratio. If you need a portrait or this landscape, you're going to choose your aspect ratio here. So we are working with the landscape and then output per prompt 
I usually go with one or at most two so that I get to save more credit for more video generation. All right, because the, the higher the number of outputs you choose, the more credit you're going to use to generate your video. Okay, so then VO 3.1 fast is what I'm going to be working with because this VO 3.1 fast um, with, with this, you can spend only 20 credits to generate um, your video. But if you use the VO 3.1 quality, you're going to be spending up to 100 credits. You can see it right here, 100 credits. So I'm working with the VO 3.1 fast to create my video. So when all of this is done, I'm going to click on send. Okay. And then we're going to wait for our video to generate. Okay, so our video is ready. So I'm just going to play the video. So this is really nice. You can see how real this scene is. So the next thing we're going to do is to generate other connecting scenes so that you will be able to see that from this very scene, we're going to navigate into other connecting scenes. All right. So the next thing you're going to do, if you are using an Android phone, you will not be able to see this feature unless you use the desktop version. But if you are using a laptop, you'll be able to see it immediately. So for those of you using Android phone, you come to this three dot right here. You click on it and then you are going to click on desktop site. So when you click on desktop site, you'll be able to see it. Add to scene. Yes, this is what we are working with. All right. So this is already our video. So we're going to click on add to scene right here. Okay, so here we are. So the next thing we're going to copy um, the next scene and paste here. All right. So now we're going to copy the scene one from here so this is the scene one so we're going to add our scene one here so you're going to come over to this place this plus sign right here this plus sign that is where we are going to be adding to scene you click on it and you click on extend so when you click on extend, you see that this part has been extended. So then you're going to impute your prompt right here. Okay, so I've imputed my prompt. And then there's something I'm going to add to it so that we'll have a consistent characters in it. Okay. Okay, so after imputing my prompt, and then I added that, um, I added keep same appearance of background batman and joker as previous scene okay and then i'm going to click on generate and then we'll wait for it to load okay so our video is ready so i'm just going to play it for us to see oh, hit me! <laughs> wow so let's play from the beginning and see. Come on, hit me! <laughs> wow, this is cool. This is really cool. So you can see that from the first scene to the second scene, they are connected. Okay. All right. So next, we're going to let's generate our third scene. So this is my third scene. So this is scene two, the standoff. So after the first scene, so this is the second one. Okay, so I'm going to copy it and then we're going to head over to view three. Okay, so, okay, so yeah, we're going to come over here again to this plus and then expand. 
So we're going to be adding the next thing, okay? So I've added my prompts. So don't forget to add to keep same appearance of the background, Batman and the Joker as previous scene so that there'll be continuation. Okay, so when you have done that, you're going to click on generate and wait for it to load again. So at this point, guys, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and then hit the notification bell so that you can always get notified whenever I upload new video. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe to my channel. Okay, so our third generation is ready. Let me play the video. <laughs> You just couldn't let me go, could you? Wow. God, hit me! <laughs> you just couldn't let me go, could you? So can you see how the scenes connected? This is lovely. Okay, so let's go ahead to create the rest scenes. Okay, so uh third and fourth scene is ready. So I'm going to You create. have nothing! Nothing to threaten me with! <laughs> Yeah, we did. But at what cost? Wow. <laughs> Let me take it a little bit uh, backward for you to see. Okay, so I'm going to play from here. Oh, hit me! <laughs> <laughs> you just couldn't let me go, could you? You have nothing! Nothing to threaten me with! <laughs> Yeah, we did. But at what cost? Wow. Can you see this? This is so, so, so lovely. So this is how you can um, create long form videos. Okay. So if you have more scenes, you just keep adding and adding more scenes, provided you still have um, enough credit to, you know, generate more videos. If you don't have the Google VO3 Pro, you can watch this video right here on how to get access to Google VO3 Pro for free, okay? So you can get it for free. Just watch this video and you'll be able to get Google VO3 for free. So the next thing you're going to go ahead to download. Click here to download. So with this, we come to the end of this tutorial. I, I hope you you will learn something new from this video so you can go ahead and start creating your long form videos. So until I see you again in my next video, it's bye.